Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share a backup script for the VCBox that I'm using in my own implementation. I'm using this script to backup VCBox and transfer it to a remote SFTP server. So here this is my VCBox 11 and this is my SFTP server. Uh, of course I need to set some parameters that I will teach you how to do but before that I want to show you how it is working. I just need to run this script. The name is VCDL backup and transfer. It will automatically back up the uh, MySQL, the database, the configuration files, the uh, sounds that, for example, you have uploaded for the IVR or any other sound, and it will automatically transfer to our SFTP server. If I check in my SFTP server right now, you can see that there is a VCDL backup with the current date that third that GZ that it has all the uh, data that we need uh, to restore in case of emergency or in case of anything happened to our server. So if you have this backup, if you install a, a new VCBox 11 system, and if you restore this one, then everything will go back to normal. Let's see how we can download, execute, and uh, set the parameters and use this script. In order to use my script, first uh, you need to SSH to your system, go to the USR SRC folder, Download the script using the wget command. I have prepared all the instructions in the post description as well, so just you can copy paste it. Uh, with wget you can download the uh, script. Then you need to edit the script and put your uh, SFTP configuration. So you can use nano vcdial backup and transfer.sh. Open the file. Then here we have uh, some parameters related to our server. So just replace these items with what is your server IP address, what is your SFTP username, what is your SFTP password, and what folder in your SFTP server is assigned to you for the backup. So in my SFTP server, uh, there is a folder VCDL backup that I will use this one to keep the uh, backup of my VCDL, uh, my VCDL backups. So, and in order to save it, you just need to press Control X and then press Y. And it will save the script. Now the script is ready. So if you want to run it, you can just type dot S slash VCDL uh, backup. Uh, sorry, before that, you need to uh, give it executable permission. So you need to do chmod plus X VCDL backup so that I can run the script. By default, it doesn't have execution permission. And now if you put dot slash vcdial.sh, you will see that the script is running. It will actually call a parallel script that is already included in the VCBox. It will do the full backup of the database configuration files and everything that is required like sounds files. And it will connect to the SFTP server and transfer the backup. Uh, of course, it will change the name to the today, today's date and it will uh, SCP to our it will SFTP to our uh, SFTP server. One uh, last item that maybe you want to add is to adding this uh, to your cron job and do it automatically. In order to do that, you can type cron tab e. It will edit your cron job. Uh, come to the end of the file and add this entry zero space two a star a star a star, and then bin bash pass to your script. This will run the cron job every day at uh, 2 a.m., let's say every night at 2 a.m. So with this mechanism, you have uh, an automated process for backup of your VCDL and transferring to your SFTP server. And in case anything's happened, you can just install a new VCBox 11 and uh, restore the backup and you will have a full system working. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.